Protecting biodiversity has always been at the center of slow food strategies. But what is biodiversity exactly, and what does it have to do with our food? Biodiversity may seem to be a complex word of interest only to those working in the field, but it is actually a simple concept that touches all of our lives, our future, the future of our children, and the future of the planet. Diversity is the foundation of life allowing constant evolution and adaptation. It is the vital life force of our planet. From the most basic elements, like genes and bacteria, to animal and plant species, to ecosystems, the most complex level. In the history of the Earth, everything has a beginning, an evolution, and an end. But in recent centuries, this process has escalated, and the rate of extinction has increased more than a thousandfold. According to various studies, the Earth could be experiencing its sixth mass extinction. The fifth was 65 million years ago, when the dinosaurs disappeared. This time, the cause is not an ice age or volcanic eruption. It's man. We are the ones destroying the rainforests and reducing atmospheric oxygen, cementing every available space, and making the soil sterile with our use of pesticides and chemical fertilizers. We are the ones using the oceans and rivers as a dump for useless plastic and industry waste. We are the ones obscuring the sky with pollution. And we are also excluding the last custodians of the earth and its diversity, the small-scale farmers and fishers whose age-old knowledge respects nature's fragile equilibrium. When we speak about the disappearance of animal and plant species, we think about something far removed from our daily life. We think of tigers, elephants, or dolphins. But in reality, we have been losing something very close to us. Hundreds of varieties of potatoes, apples, and traditional baked goods, the flavors of our collective memory. An entire world is disappearing in front of our eyes at an increasingly alarming speed. 27,000 species are lost every year. Today, 60% of the calories provided by our global food supply is based on three cereals, wheat, rice, and corn. And 90% of seed production is represented by a handful of patented hybrids, produced and sold by a few multinationals. This has created an extremely fragile system, because its uniformity is not able to cope with disease or the unexpected, and because monoculture crops require an excessive use of chemical products. Nature started sending us signals a long time ago. For example, when a fungus attacked one variety of potato cultivated in Ireland in 1845, millions of people died or were forced to emigrate to escape the famine. Years later, a resistance gene to the fungus was found in one of the thousands of varieties of Andean potatoes. Without biodiversity, potatoes would no longer be one of the world's major crops. Slow Food has understood the importance of agrobiodiversity since its beginning. We must not only save the panda and the monk seal, but also the Girgentana goat in Sicily, the Ragusano donkey, or the Norwegian sheep, not just the Edelweiss, but also the Polignano carrot. Over the past 10,000 years of agriculture, farmers' knowledge has given thousands of varieties and breeds that express the spirit and history of their region through their form, color, aroma, and flavor. But mechanization is the enemy of diversity. Since the 1950s, agricultural production has progressively moved towards a smaller and smaller number of species and varieties selected to meet the demands of the global market, with no links to a territory, but able to be produced anywhere, be transported long distances, and have a standardized taste. In comparison to the thousands of apples selected by farmers, 
Today, just four represent 90% of the global market. Slow Food considers each food as the sum of many different aspects that interact together. Imagine a large tree with deep roots that extend in all directions, a wide trunk, and branches that reach upward with their leaves, flowers, and fruits. The roots are firmly anchored to a territory, a specific climate, an altitude, and exposure to the sun, and the soil that welcomes the seeds and allows them to grow. But a region is not only soil, climate, geography. It is also culture, knowledge, artisanal techniques. Food is also an expression of language, music, poetry, and the customs of a community. The deep roots run into those of other trees, bringing them into contact with other cultures, languages, and histories. These underground meetings enrich our tree. From the roots, we now make our way to the tree's heights. The trunk of the tree represents the support necessary for good production, fair for workers and clean for the environment. Then there are the branches, flowering and laden with fruit, representing taste, smell, sight, touch, and finally cooking, either traditional or innovative, whatever creates an enjoyable food experience. Food is also nourishment, providing vitamins and minerals, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. It offers physical and spiritual balance. A nutritionist studies this aspect. A gastronomist studies another. An environmentalist is concerned with others. A geologist with another, and an anthropologist with another. Slow food considers all these elements together as a balanced whole. Each product represents seeds, land, culture, environmental and social sustainability, nourishment, taste. To preserve this abundance, Slow Food created the Ark of Taste, a place to record plant species, animal breeds, and artisanal products, such as breads, cheeses, or cured meats, before they are lost. Products that are tied to the cultures, histories, and traditions of communities around the world. Alongside this catalog of products, Slow Food also launched the Presidia Project to work directly with producers. The Presidia protect a traditional product at risk of extinction, an ARC product, a traditional technique at risk of being lost, fishing, breeding, cultivation, or transformation, or a rural landscape or ecosystem at risk of being destroyed. The Slow Food Gardens are another important tool to preserve and promote biodiversity developed with families, communities, and schools. To bring small-scale producers and consumers together, Slow Food supports the Earth Market Project around the world. The battle to safeguard biodiversity isn't just any battle. It is a battle for the future of the planet. We can all do something in our part of the world every day. Let's not concentrate on what we have lost, but rather on what we can still save.